I'm an avid reader and I love to read books uh, on all kind of topics, but I've read a lot about, uh, of course, trading, investing, but especially also about the mindset that goes into mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. in this case, I would say my, my, my mentors, <laughs> again, have, have taught me so many lessons from, from reading from, from these people who've called it, they, they've made it, right? And, and, and which mindset you gotta have in order to to actually achieve success in this game and it again it comes back to um, i'm repeating myself a little bit but again it comes back to that our mindsets are not made for being traders right our mindsets right. Is, is made to survive the work is really the mindset but uh but really the work is is it studying charts is it understanding the algorithms? Is it understanding the demand zones and supply zones and the, you know, whatever? I mean, is is that what what a trader is doing all day? Are they? Is this really the work part? Um, so there's two ways to it, right? Well, in, in the, the beginning stages, yes, you're absolutely right. From a, from a technical point of view, from the trading point of view, yes, you gotta, you know, when you look into strategies, gotta find out uh, looking at charts you know what what are support levels what are demand levels what are resistance you know all these kind of stuff what is this indicator what is that indicator what is what is price action and you know what is what is patterns and all this you can study patterns you can study candlesticks you can study everything technically then there's the the mental part we just spoke about where you got to work on your own mental side of things but actually <laughs> The fun thing is when you then have reached some kind of consistency and you th you consider yourself to, okay, now I've reached um, maybe within a few years or something like that. You're not you're, you're not the beginning stage anymore. You're not the top, top level anymore, but, but you're still trading decent and you're making some profits. Then actually the work you put in a lot of the time as a trader and investor is just patience. So you can just sit there and wait and wait and wait and not do anything. So what you're actually working on here is actually not getting more knowledge, but actually being more disciplined, be more patient to follow your plan that you have tested out for the last three, four, five, six, seven years to follow that plan, be disciplined to wait, be patient, be patient, be patient. And then eventually when an opportunity comes, then you strikes. So in that case, when you have become more professional, then it's actually more your discipline that you're working on mm -hmm. and continuously working on your mindset. So did you have like a mentor uh, early on or any books that you read that were pretty powerful for you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, from the very beginning, I was in uh, trading communities. So that's, you know, communities for, for like-minded people who who, who did the same as, as I did when I started actively trading, not when I was 14 years old, right? right. But, but when I got older and got into trading a bit more. So at some point, you know, when I first got into trading, I actually was, was uh, at a party. I, I, I met a, a guy who is still my friend to this day. And I was only, at this point, I was only uh, investing, long-term investing. But then I met this guy who was trading. And then, you know, we started speaking and I said, you know, I'm an investor and he was a trader. And then he got my eyes open to, to the whole trading world, right? And then I became, you know, more, I got more and more into it. Uh, I became this trader. And then, you know, from there, my, my, my passion just started. And um, yeah, um, since then, I, you know, just haven't looked back since. And got, and got what, a lot what of, type of, of advice? Challenges. Like what, what type of advice, you know, specifically, what sort of things did they teach you, you know, that, that you really took away from some of these, uh, you know, really successful investors early on? Because because I know for me, yeah. you know, my mentor, uh, you know, he taught me the power of discipline. He taught me the power of uh, building great relationships. He taught me the power of focusing on getting results and you know, having kind of a results mindset. So I, I learned some powerful things from my trainers and my mentors. Yeah. What What are some of your key takeaways that you got from some of these people early on? Yeah. Yeah. So first of all, I, I would say there was two kind of mentors that, that I had. The, the, the one thing was in the trading communities where there was people who were a lot, a lot further than I was uh, on the journey to becoming a consistent and, and profitable trader. So what I learned from 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 these guys was definitely um, that this is a long-term game. 
Mm -hmm. That was one thing, right? You, you mm -hmm. cannot just go in, expect two months, and then you're good. It's a long-term game, and it's a lot right. more to do with your mindset than what it is to do with your technical skills. Because I can teach you, my as my mentor said, I can teach you the technical skills within one month or two months, but you'll not become profitable within one or two months. It might take you five years. It might take six years. And so it was really about the long-term game. Then the second part of it is I've had, quote-unquote, mentors from books, I'm an avid reader and I love to read books uh, on all kind of topics, but I've read a lot about, uh, of course, trading, investing, but especially also about the mindset that goes into mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. in this case, I would say my, my, my mentors, <laughs> again, have, have taught me so many lessons from, from reading from, from these people who've called it, they, they've made it, right? And, and, and which mindset you got to have in order to, to actually achieve success in this game. And it, again, it comes back to, um, I'm repeating myself a little bit, but again, it comes back to that our mindsets are not made for being traders, right? Our mindsets right. Is, is made to survive. Mm -hmm. And if you want to survive in this game, it's about you got to have a long-term perspective and you got to right. expect to be in this, right. at, that it will take years before you actually become con consistent and profitable. And if you have this mindset from the beginning, that actually... It's not about focusing on the outcome each day, but it's about building a solid process that you are keeping discipline to and then following that process. And if you have followed that process at the end of the day, at the end of the month, at the end of the year, then you have then you then you are the winner. Doesn't matter if the results are plus hundred or plus one thousand or plus one million, if you have followed right. the process, th then the results will follow afterwards. Yeah, I mean I I Completely agree. You know, when I look at uh, everything that I was able to build in my business, everything was about process. I mean, from an early age, uh, I was maybe 24 when I opened up my first office. But the first thing I did was I built a process. So I made sure I had manuals, I had books, I had tapes, I had uh, DVDs, I had everything, you know, what, you know, started a website and I had everything that I could possibly you know, have so I can duplicate a process. And I think that when I think of, and, and this is, I think what you're saying is you got to have a process, you got to build something so that way it can ultimately be duplicated. And I think this is, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this might be a, a reason why you decided to start your company uh, because you figured out that some of these patterns were very predictable. And because they were predictable, you said, well, wait a minute, maybe I can just duplicate this again and again and again and again. And maybe we could get very similar results again and again and again and again. Let's try it. So where did that begin when you said, all right, I'm going automated, man. I'm going to build an automated uh, trading process and system so I can not only become profitable for myself with doing less work, maybe, you know, because there's less, I mean, obviously if things are automated, there's less looking at charts, there's less, you know, having to, to you know, it becomes more passive versus, you know, in the game every single minute, like a lot of traders are. Uh, tell me a little bit about how that all began and, and how'd you start, uh, you know, that process of building your own first company. Uh, as as many good things uh, start this way, it's, it's also started the same way for, for me. Like I made all the mistakes I could with, with manual trading, right? I was uh, over trading, I was uh, risking too much, and you know, in the beginning, I, I, I made all the mistakes, right? At the same time, uh, because I was so passionate about it, I was so dedicated. I also spent a lot of time in front of the screens every day, right? Every single day so much time that sometimes I felt exhausted, right? Uh, obviously, um, even though that I got my sleep, ate well, you know, did exercise, I spent so much time that I sometimes felt exhausted. So some, at some point, you know, me and a good friend of mine, we, you know, we started digging into, you know, f f is, isn't there s some way that this can be done better, right? Right. And, you know, actually, actually, before I started manual trading, I have already got familiar with automated trading systems you know i saw something on youtube and i thought it was, this was good and i've invested it in you know so i've already had some kind of you know 
knowledge about it, but didn't pursue it any further at that time because then I went to manual trading and thought that was right. the the thing right. to do, right? But then my um, my uh, my friend and, and and myself started to dig more into automated trading and found out, wow, if we can actually create something where we can trade that quote unquote trade, right? Because the system does it for us in the background. But if you can create something where we at the same time can have time for our families, can have time for our friends, time for our girlfriends, time to go to ho- on holidays. And at the same time, something something in the background will trade for us. Wouldn't that be amazing? And that's when we, we figured out, wow. It, it, and we, first of all, we thought it was kind of sounded like silly and impossible, right? We, right. But then we started to dig more into it. And then we started, you know, okay, getting more and more knowledge, you know, educate ourselves. We got into some other places with other people, you know, who had some knowledge about this, some really, really cool guys. They taught us something. And then from there, it just, all of a sudden, our, our knowledge exploded. We started to trade automated systems. We started to build them ourselves. And then all of a sudden, we, we, we figured out that we have actually found a solution to our problems. Um, I, I, I think it's a situation a lot of people have been in. Also, your audience, you know, they are entrepreneurs, they are business people, they are busy people. They want right. to be with family at the same time. So they want to go on holiday. Absolutely. But, so they don't have time. They have, don't have time to trading. They don't have time to sit there many hours per day. They just want to live their life and, you know, have the good life, right? So that's what we created for ourselves, and uh, and and then all of a sudden, long story short, is that we created something really, really good. We created it live on our own accounts. It went really well. We, you know, did a lot of testing. It was stable, and some people, you know, with a lot of knowledge in the industry, said to us, "Guys, you have something going on that you probably should consider creating a company out of this, right?" And they thought, "Oh." Well, if other people can actually benefit in the same way as us, you know, getting more time back uh, in their lives, getting more time back for the families, for friends, for holidays, for relaxing, then why why shouldn't other people also get that opportunity, right? And then that's what we, how and 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 when we set up the company and said, okay, we want to offer this to 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 other people as well, so they can can get that same benefit as as we experienced. If you like this video and you want to watch another one, click right here. If you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.